so welcome to obviously the last session of this and this time we are going to look at how to animate this yeah, so we've created our view animation view and we've created everything so as we are still preparing ourselves for the animation there's one thing we've not done so far that's the path make that will be the path we'll be using for the animation so before we do that if your paths are still open in SOLIDWORKS, you just hit Control tab to move on to the wheel. We want to create a point where we want the point to be, move along a certain path. Yes, we want to just specify that one. So just select a right plane, obviously be okay. Then just click on point on the sketch tab and just position the sketch on the origin just that then just confirm that so you can just rename this i like organizing myself a lot just name this as maybe animation point enter and control s to save all what you've done and then also move straight to the rail rail underscore one control one so this actually control three click on the right plane we can actually use the top plane too so the right plane let me zoom fit right plane yep then I sketch a line center line obviously let's just make it a normal line make it a midpoint somewhere around the center just drag it to any point so that i click on the line and make it horizontal make horizontal drag this up because it's not fully defined i can drag it a little bit down and dimension it dimension this point to this point to be point two because of the tolerance gap we left in the assembly you see when we're dimensioning or using the distance needs we use 39.08 so we don't put too much so the the actual length two was points the actual length two was point 40 so we just consider that and make sure everything is fine that way so i'll make this and this or a vertical sorry a vertical relation and last but done the list will be a vertical relation from this point to the line the point on the line we'll make it vertical too check that and i'll make this i'll rename this as path for animation let me just make it path animation and Control 7 to just save everything to so automatically everything will update in the assembly yeah, So in the assembly you'll be asked this just click yes And everything is done that way So we now have our path So you can see they all updated and because we copied this It's showing these lines are showing twice but it don't affect our animations. Okay, we just stick to that so now let's apply a path make. So, so we add our path make and we just do that. Just come in here, click on mix, and it's an advanced mix. So after this, we become an advanced SolidWorks user. And we select our path. And there are a whole lot of errors popping up. So yes, uh, let's just embrace the errors and work on the error. Yes, so I'm thinking it will be the relation I added to this point for another. Yes, the one with the wheel from the wheel to this. So let's delete it or we can even suppress it see what i have so obviously was that 
so you see when we're meeting we meted the right plane on the wheel that was this this right plane on the wheel with the actual right plane of the entire assembly so we just delete that one we just have to delete that one let's delete it we don't need it because of the part name and also let's edit the part name let's edit it so it should be free okay it should be along the path actually everything is okay for me yep everything is a zero no zero okay let's just get the meaning of it i don't know why this distance okay the distance free Oh, that's every time. Okay, yep. Free, 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 free. So let's just stick to free, free, free. Why is this distance causing some problem? Yep, 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 yep. So let's suppress. Let's suppress this distance because it was was trying to cause some problems in our past meeting let's explore this yeah so this is what i want to show if it's zero it means it will start at the exact point so the point will start at the exact point of our wheel or uh, wheel the exact point we can specify 20 whatever I can even use percentage and say maybe 50 percent it came in my CSWP exams this part me so you can use let's just stick to free and you can explore more to just know more about it let me just make a pen to come down so this suppressed meat is being suppressed so now let's move on to the animation as well we just click on solidworks adding and you just click on solidworks motion because it's complex you have to use motion solidworks animation can't handle especially part me we are going to use solidworks motion you wait for a while for it to become active so if you can see solidworks adding over here you can just right click on the command manager and move on to check solidworks adding or better still you can just come here uh, the menu bar options and you just the down the drop down menu addings and you just check solidworks motion so if you wanted to start like start up as soon as you open solidworks you just check the startup will open SolidWorks. It will open as SolidWorks is opened. So currently everything is fine. We now go to the view we created. Right. Okay, this is our view. The animation view. We move on to SolidWorks steady motion steady. So we were in the model aspect. We just click on the motion steady. Motion steady. So let me just make this one big so that we can see what's going on. Then we switch from animation to motion analysis. Right. So basically what we've done so far is just clicking or switching from model to motion steady and changing from animation to motion analysis. And we just disable orientation so that if even if we zoom in or zoom out, over here it won't affect whatever we are doing so we first specify contacts specify contacts let's make it 20 seconds 20 seconds animation and specify our contacts contact will be wheel and these rails just check that well sorry i'm supposed to drag this instead 
to 20 seconds and let's calculate that so it waits a while because it's 20 seconds we perform the calculation and obviously five seconds should be shorter than 20 seconds but when you are performing some calculations so we wait for the software to solve and i always advise anytime you are performing any animation or a motion analysis you calculate each and every point in time yes so it's almost done and it's done so we now specify a motto right a motto so over here we are very fortunate we are done with anything related to our motto we just come to meet dan dancing then we click on the part we select part meet and we click on this part meet solidworks will automatically identify what we've already set up then we just check that then we just run the steady again and calculate again and you can see it has started moving All right so we just specified the default or we just use the default speed in the uh, path make so we just specify that and solidworks is doing the magic what we really expected it to do it's moving we can just vary the speed we can create a plot we can perform finite element analysis here so okay we try and perform one we try and perform one a simple one because i wasn't expecting it to be this short i think it will take a lot of time to run yeah so we are done we are done with the meat and we are done with the motion so we can extend the time to one minute and make sure everything goes on well and make sure everything goes on well so we can play the animation from the beginning to know what we've achieved so far let me increase the speed let me increase it to like 2.2 so that this is a little bit slow and you can see it's really rotating right because the writings on the wheel is actually moving you can increase the time frame to two seconds you can see it's really going fast five to make it faster so you can just vary vary the speed in the motor part mate motor you can just edit it over here and increase the speed but i'm not going to do that i don't want to calculate that much so i'll come back to the beginning um yeah, so basically we are done with the motion analysis 